Hello, everybody. This video is going to be the second play along video. All right, I won't keep you waiting. Let's get right into it. I'll start with a diverse world, one minute, no moving. Okay, so we have the Vietnam. Yeah, that's definitely in Vietnam. Okay, but where in Vietnam? So we're pretty much either in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City. Hmm. There's a lot of... Hmm. I don't know, this is tricky. It looks like there is some English. So I might go for... Hmm. We, there's a pine tree, which does make me think that it's Hanoi. Or somewhere around here, as opposed to down here. I think it's more tropical in the south and more piney in the north. Let's go up here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but uh, it was actually somewhere in the middle. Okay, yeah, you can also get coverage up in, down the coast, I guess. Uh, someone guessing in Ho Chi Minh. And we have some more people playing. Nice. More than three, presumably, hopefully. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, let's see. Um, plates, it's Gen 4. Really? Is it Gen 4? Maybe it's just a really good Gen 3 with an antenna. We have segmented poles. So these are in like France and stuff. Yeah, we have French signs over there. So is this the Pyrenees or Alps? I'm thinking Alps. Or cl like close to the Alps, maybe. Maybe around here or... Yeah, let's go here. Oh, it was further north, actually. That looked really hilly for there. But yeah, those shutters did look kind of northern. I did. Yeah, nice. Pretty cool. We got France, right? Okay, next is the the sun. Yeah, okay, we're in Australia. We have these bollards. And these short reflector combined with this really red soil. I think this might be Western Australia. Yeah, I don't think this could be Queensland. Yes, I'm going to go Western Australia. It doesn't... It looks like kind of n n weird almost, but I guess it would make sense for the area around Perth maybe 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 a bit further out maybe like further south how hilly is it uh, pretty not hilly pretty flat there are some more mountains in the south so maybe I'll go more north I don't know let's go in Northam out here nice Wow, really nailed. <laughs> we got very close. 20 kilometers away. That's a really good Western Australia guess. Zigzag would be proud. Um, only one road over. Cool. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, European sign. I can't quite, quite read that. But it looks like we're driving on the right. What about the plates? Is this Europe? With that sign, I, I think it has to be. I don't really know where, though. The pinkish road is interesting. Can't really see that much, though. And this does look kind of weird, actually, for Europe. Maybe it's not. Uh, I don't know. This looks kind of weird. Maybe I'll go for Spain. Somewhere green. I don't know where's green. Maybe up here. I really don't know, though. Oh, it was France. Okay, that looked a little strange for France, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, we have Kol Kolnatki. Okay. Should be Poland. There's a very interesting looks like a grave or something and we have these a poles so it should be poland 
hold not key. Hmm. What does it say here? Nothing good. Um, I mean, I don't really know where in Poland. Maybe just a really central, maybe pretty central, I'm thinking. I mean, that kind of hedges for everything. Maybe a little further north or or south. Maybe it's... Uh, I'm really not sure. I'll go here near Wuj. Okay, it was further north, actually near Osteen. Wow, that person really got a good guess. I wonder if they spotted... No, I don't even see that place. What was it called? Kovn Kovnats. There it is. Kovnatki. I don't think they spotted that. But we pull we pulled decent points. And we barely crested twenty thousand, I think. And we actually won. Wow, that's crazy. I won. How many people played? Five people played. Nice. So two more people than last time. Yeah, that Western Australia guess really carried it, I think. That was a really good guess. Let's look at the top three for uh, each. So, what was the first round? First, no. Um, first round was the Vietnam. That's right. So, two Ho Chi Minh City guesses, and one uh, north of Hanoi for me, and it was in the middle of them both. Okay. Second, where was the second one? Oh, yes, the first France. Okay, so one France guess for me. One and two Austria. Okay. That kind of makes sense, yeah. I could definitely see that. With that, I think the main clue though was the the French signs in the background. Okay, where's number three? Three was Australia. Okay. Western Australia, they have the short reflectors and the very red soil, and I pulled a good guess. And we had uh, uh New Zealand and uh NSW. Fair enough. Okay, and the second France, we had one Switzerland, one France, and one Spain. Yeah, that was kind of tricky. If I could see that sign, I bet I would have gone somewhere else. And for the, the last one, the Poland one, one good guess by Spoon Pilot. Oh, one other Poland guess and one Montenegro guess. Okay, pretty cool. Let's do the next one. A rural world, uh, no moving panning machine. Okay, this looks like Europe, I would think. Um, and we're driving on the right because the antenna is on the back of the car. Hmm. It almost looks like there's a blue sign down there. Hold on a second. I can't tell if it's a bus stop or a city sign. If it's a city sign, I'm inclined to go to the Baltics. Hold on, let me look at it again. I think it might be, but it also looks pretty Baltic. Maybe I'll hedge in one of the Estonian islands. Let's go on this one. Uh, that road fits. Just because, like, in case it is Sweden, which also has blue signs, or Finland, which sometimes can have blue signs, and all of these places, or Russia even, it kind of hedges. For all of those. And where was it? It was Russia. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's okay, I wanna see now if that if the sign was just a bus stop or was an actual city sign. Because Russia does have blue city signs. It was uh, I think it was a river sign. Shurgovashka. Yeah, I think it was just the name of the river. Yeah, it was just the Reka, the Reka, the, yeah, the name of the river, but uh, we pull okay points. Next, okay, double yellow. Um, it looks like the sun's kind of mid based on the shadow, maybe even a bit north. Mm, I don't, I don't know. If the sun's north, then I'll go Peru, I think. But if it's not, then it could be Mexico. Th with this double yellow line, though, 
Maybe it's even U.S. I don't know. It doesn't really have a U.S. vibe, but I'm gonna go Peru. It could I could totally be wrong. Let's go somewhere kind of south. It could be U.S. or something. Let's let's send Peru though. Okay, okay, there we go. It was Peru. Nice. It was uh, really far away from my guess, but it still was Peru, so I'm pretty proud that I got that. Let's do the next map. Okay, this is interesting. So we're definitely driving on the left because that, car, that car's on the left, and we have this really red soil again. I am thinking of Western Australia, honestly. Because of the super red soil and the fact that they're driving left and the sun's north, so... And it's Gen 3. That kind of all fits with Australia and specifically Western Australia. Now, let's see if I could pull another insane guess out of Western Australia. It looks almost more north than last time. I can't remember if this road has coverage or not. Um... I don't, I don't know, but it might not even be Western Australia. Let's just go here and hope for the best. Okay, it was, it was kind of close. It was right by the coast, actually. So cool, 208 kilometers Western Australia, not terrible. And n another New Zealand guess. I think that was the same person who guessed New Zealand on the other Western Australia. Interesting. Okay, this almost looks familiar. I don't know why, though. Hmm. I might go Sweden here. Yeah, this this kind of looks like this area around here. Almost. Maybe even further south, near Linköping. I, mm -hmm. I wonder if I should go with the Estonian island hedge. We do have... There are willow trees, though. It's wet, so I guess... I guess Sweden kind of makes sense. It could also, it could be Gotland, actually. Actually, I'm going to go in Gotland because it might be Estonia or, again, the other bits. So I'm going to hedge here. And it was, and my hedge paid off because it looks like someone else went in Sweden. Where was it? It was actually in Lithuania, right on the border of Latvia and Belarus. But my Gotland hedge, I guess, paid off in the middle of the Baltic. Okay, last round. What's this? That's really interesting. That almost looks like an Icelandic bollard. But there's like a there's a ton of trees. Yeah, I think that's an Icelandic bollard. I don't know if I'm gonna go Iceland though. There's so many trees for Iceland. Hmm, where's the sun? The sun is, I think, is south. I don't know. Is there any place in Iceland with this many trees? Maybe it's like a really weird park or something. Or area where there's a lot of trees. I think I've seen a lot of trees down here. Those, I'm pretty sure are Icelandic ballers. Though. So I'm just going to go here. It could be completely wrong, though. It was Iceland. Wow, a lot of trees for Iceland, but yeah, those bollards definitely helped. And I won again. Oh my gosh, two in a row. That's crazy. Let's see. We had four people play this one. That's fair enough because it is real world. And let's look at the top three again. So the first round in Russia. Oh, this is hard. Um... One Lithuania guess. My um, uh, I don't know what that one's called. The Stony Island guess. One Romania guess. Okay. Nice guesses, everybody. Okay, for Peru, two Peru guesses and one Argentina. Yep. Uh, Western Australia. I got that one again. And New Zealand. And what was that? Brazil. Okay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And. 
for the Lithuania right up in the border. One Sweden, one Romania, and then my Gotland. Well, like one mainland Sweden, actually. So, And then for the last round in Iceland, one Russia, one Poland, and one Iceland. Yeah, that one kind of almost tripped me up because of that bollard. Uh, it looked like really like a lot of trees. There's like so many trees for it, Iceland doesn't usually have that many trees, but yeah, that bollard really came in clutch. All right, so well done, everybody, for their scores and everything, and thanks for playing. And if you want to play the one for next video, click on the links in the description. If you would like to play a certain map, then you suggest that in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching and playing, everybody, and goodbye.